Assessment overview number one, the practice questions. So the first assessment task that you're going to face this semester is worth 10 marks. It's referred to as the practice questions and it will be submitted through Turnitin with a due date of a Wednesday night. It's one minute to midnight on Wednesday the 11th. Please don't be late. Basically, the idea behind this particular assessment task is that you are being asked to address four questions. It's about market research and it's an exercise in getting you to undertake a very specific task. Answer and justify the questions. But you'll notice that when you look at these questions that they have a cascade effect. So when you've been asked to define one specific problem and then the next question is what type of research design do you recommend for addressing that problem, the decision you make in question one must impact question two. And again, with question two, when you set a research design, that will impact on question three. The appropriate way to collect the data for your research design, these have to be connected and interlinked. You've been asked to justify, and you'll note that you've been given a couple of things here, whether it's what type do you recommend and why. That's a justification that will require you to use references. So this exercise is about getting you to have some creativity, you select your own company, to make a decision that company, that product, then talk about what you can do with market research. Now I'm going to ask you politely and kindly to really look back over your answer when you write it to ensure that you are talking about market research. I've had students in the past talk about many things that weren't market research to try and answer this question and generally worked out badly for them. So this is a question about market research. It's going to be coming in after the market research chapter has been made available to you. And the thing about this particular task is that it's 10 marks to make the effort worthwhile. But from my side, my intention is to give you feedback in terms of how you've answered the question, how you've addressed the problem, and the effort that you've displayed. I'm aware it's going to be the first time you write something for me. So this is about making certain that our mutual expectations are understood. The other aspect about this particular task that I just want to bring to your attention is that I don't want you to use direct quotes. Full referencing is required. You do have to use citations, but the key to this is that this is a short assessment task. So you want to be doing this with your own words. And when I say your own words, I also mean don't badly paraphrase someone else's sentence. I know that some of you have come through and been taught that paraphrasing is an appropriate way to deal with the, oh, I can't use a direct quote, but I have to use a reference. I want to show you a different way. I want to show you that you can actually do this by using the idea in your own language, in your own terms, in your own way of expressing it, with acknowledgement at the end of that sentence that that's the idea you've adapted. So this is a training task. It's worth points. It's designed to help you with a series of feedback that will then roll forward into making the second, third and fourth assessment tasks work. And the last thing I'll say is that the practice questions also do one other thing. They are very similar in technique, if not in content, to what you'll face on the final exam. So this is your first round of practicing preparing for the exam. Feedback from the practice questions will help you with the short essay. And the short essay itself is designed to help you with both the final essay and the exam. So there's a very distinct deliberate feedback loop built in here that we all assist you and guide you in developing your style that we're looking for in the final assessment task.